Governor Plaza in San Francisco today taken over by thousands of anti-abortion protesters for this year's March for Life. It is the first time the annual event has been held since the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. KTV's Zach Soss was there. He joins us live in the newsroom tonight. Well, certainly a far different tone at this year's March. Many in the crowd viewing the event as somewhat of a victory lap in the wake of the court's ruling back in June and eager to keep the momentum going. Meantime, a separate group vying outside City Hall, hoping to turn back the clock. Dueling demonstration Saturday outside San Francisco City Hall, abortion rights advocates lining the sidewalk as a much larger anti-abortion rally filled the square. Tomorrow would have been the 50th anniversary of Roe v. Wade. Thanks to the pro-life community and our God Almighty, Roe will not have a 50th birthday. The landmark decision by the U.S. Supreme Court overturned in June. As with years past, large numbers attending the March for Life bust in from other parts of the state, this time to celebrate the court's move. Just tons and tons of babies, especially in uh, pro-life states, uh, have been born that otherwise wouldn't have. And um, that's, we always feel, our family at least uh, feels it's the most preeminent issue of our time. To date, 12 states have passed near total bans on abortion. No one can take that away from us. A much smaller but no less vocal group of abortion rights ralliers marching through the streets nearby. We really wanted to make our voices known, let people know that the pro-life people aren't the only people who are in this fight and have opinions. Cynthia Parr joining the rally with her mother outside the San Francisco Federal Building. I'm heartened to see all the people, all these different ages here. Nearby, Nicole Look, concerned about how the ruling could impact other court decisions down the road. I just feel like it's continued crumbling of what makes this country great. Um, removal of fundamental rights for our own bodies. Both groups polarized by their views on abortion rights, but still able to agree on this. We all get to say what we want. I mean, it's freedom of speech, right? This is the whole point of democracy. And those two dueling groups, again, sharing essentially the same space today outside San Francisco City Hall for several hours. Despite that, both sides largely respectful of each other. But, of course, a fairly sizable police presence was on hand just in case. In the newsroom, Zach Soss, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Zach, thank you.